If you are, at first, lonely, be patient. If you've not been alone much, or if, when you were, you weren't okay with it, then just wait. You'll find it's fine to be alone once you're embracing it. We could start with the acceptable places, the bathroom, the coffee shop, the library, where you can stall and read the paper, where you can get your caffeine fix and sit and stay there, where you can browse the stacks and smell the books. You're not supposed to talk much anyway, so it's safe there. There's also the gym. If you're shy, you can hang out with yourself in years. You could put headphones in. And there's public transportation, because we all gotta go places. And there's prayer and meditation. No one will think less if you're hanging with your breath, seeking peace and salvation. Start simple. Things you may have previously avoided based on your avoid being alone principles. The lunch counter, where you will be surrounded by chow downers, employees that only have an hour, and their spouses work across town, and so they, like you, will be alone. Resist the urge to hang out with your cell phone. When you are comfortable with eat lunch and run, take yourself out for dinner, a restaurant with linen and silverware. You're no less intriguing a person when you're eating solo dessert and cleaning the whipped cream from the dish with your finger. In fact, some people at full tables will wish they were where you were. Go to the movies, where it is dark and soothing, alone in your seat amidst a fleeting community. And then take yourself out dancing to a club where no one knows you. Stand on the outside of the floor until the lights convince you more and more and the music shows you. Dance like no one's watching because they're probably not. And if they are, assume it is with best and human intentions. The way bodies move genuinely to beats is, after all, gorgeous and effective. Dance until you're sweating and beads of perspiration remind you of life's best things. Stand your back like a book of blessings. Go to the woods alone, and the trees and squirrels will watch for you. Go to an unfamiliar city, roam the streets, there are always statues to talk to, and benches made for sitting give strangers a shared existence, if only for a minute, and these moments can be so uplifting, and the conversations you get in by sitting alone on benches might have never happened had you not been there by yourself. Society is afraid of alone them, like lonely hearts are wasting away in basements. Like people must have problems if after a while nobody is dating them. But lonely is a freedom that breathes easy and weightless, and lonely is healing if you make it. You could stand swathed by groups and mobs or hold hands with your partner. Look both further and farther in the endless quest for company. But no one's in your head, and by the time you translate your thoughts, some essence of them may be lost, or perhaps it is just kept. Perhaps in the interest of loving oneself. Perhaps all those sappy slogans from preschool over to high school's groaning were tokens for holding the lonely at bay. Because if you're happy in your head, then solitude is blessed and alone is okay. It's okay if no one believes like you. All experience is unique. No one has the same synapses, can't think like you.
Ooh. Mm-hmm.